Good day. So um, on today's lesson, I'm going to take you through iterative methods for solving systems of linear equations. I'm Wado Kandrindal, and um, this is a topic in numerical analysis one. So when you take a system of linear equations, this system of linear equations, for instance, when you have this particular 2 by 2 system of linear equation, let's say it's equal to 3, you have x1 minus 2x2 is equal to 0. So, when you have this particular 2 by 2 system of equations, you know, it's a system of linear equations. So, whenever you have system of linear equations, you can solve it using the direct methods or the iterative methods. So I know by now you've talked about how to solve system of linear equations using direct methods. So some of the direct methods we know include the Gaussian elimination, which is the commonest. And you learn that with the Gaussian elimination, sometimes to avoid runoff error and division by zero, we use pivoting strategies. And some of the pivoting strategies we know are the partial pivoting, the complete pivoting, and we have a lot. But these are the two commonest. Then you also learn that we can use the method of factorization to also solve it, and a direct method where we had the LU decomposition. And the LU decomposition, and um, we can use the Krauss method. We can use the Doolittle method. And if our matrix is symmetric and positive definite, then we use the Koleski method. So that's with the direct method, but our attention is going to be on the iterative methods. So when it comes to the iterative methods, you know, when you have our system of linear equation, is given by ax is equal to b. So you realize that to find our x, then our x is equal to the determinant, sorry, the inverse of a times b. So you realize that if our matrix a is inevitable. That means we can't find for our x. So that means the direct methods fail when our matrix A is inevitable. So this is when the method of iterations come in mind. So with the method of iterations, what we do is that we are given our system of linear equation and we are also given initial condition. And when you are given the initial condition, then we do a number of iterations, sometimes two, sometimes three, four. So depending on what the question gives you. And you know, with iteration, the higher number of iterations you do, the closer you get to the um, exact solution. Then we do our iterations. So when it comes to solving systems of linear equations using iterative methods, we have three main methods that we are going to consider. So we have the Jacobi method. Then we have the Gossidal. And we have the SOR, which is known as successive over relaxation. So these are the three methods that we use to find the solution to systems of linear equations using iterative methods. So, when you talk about the Jacobi method, the Jacobi method is a very good one, but it is quite slow. So, to improve upon the rate of convergence of the Jacobi method, then we use the Gossidal. And the Gossidal is also very, is very slow as compared to the SOR. So, this one is slow. To improve upon that, we use a Gossidal, and to improve upon the Gossidal, we use the SOR. Okay, so these are the three main methods that we use to solve systems of linear equations iteratively. So, this is just an introductory lesson to solving systems of linear equations using iteration methods. So, in our next lesson, we are going to learn how to use the Jacobi method to do that. So, we are going to learn everything about the Jacobi method. In our subsequent lessons, we will talk about the Gossidal and the SOR. So thank you once again.